Come and get them. Here you are. New backs just came in off the stage. Dollar card. Just a look at them. It's the picture cards. There's one special one they're all hankering after. You mean I got her? Oh boy, I got her! Come on, let me see. I'll give you five dollars for it. Wouldn't take fifty for it. Keeping her right close to my heart. Gosh almighty, what's gone into him? It's Adelaide, Clem. Adelaide. What's an Adelaide? What's an Adelaide? A hope. A vision. You see her carved in the prow of an ancient ship in a gambler's cameo. Beautiful, ain't she? Why, she ain't got nothing on but her underwear. Uh, tights, Calam. She's a great actress, they tell me. Charming, lovely figure. Everything a woman ought to be. Looks like a fat, frilled up side of undressed beef to me. And I could look the same. Except I got certain ideas about modesty. Ain't a man in town wouldn't ride a hundred miles for a glimpse of Miss Adams. You, maybe, and some of the scum around here. Why, a gentleman wouldn't look twice at such a picture. A gentleman? Like, uh, Danny Gilmartin, for instance? None of your business! Oh, come on, Clem, don't get bashful now. I know you're kind of sweet on the lieutenant, aren't you? Oh, ain't say it till he does. Now, where is Danny? Kind of thought he might be here to meet the stage. On duty at the fort, I guess. Last time I saw him was a week ago. Came in to buy a pack of picture cards. Uh, is, is this on the level? Means just what it says, Sonny. Guests must leave their hair in the safe. Management cannot be responsible for lost scouts. No! Don't! Don't! Please! Please! Come on! No! Can I help you? I'm looking for Mr. Miller, the writer. Is your name Fryer? That's right. Say, you an actress? An actress? <laughs> Why, no, no, I'm not. I'm. Look here, Clam, I've been all over town. Nobody's seen my actress. What are you doing with it? Where is she? Me? Uncle, this gentleman here is. Later, Susan. I've got a show tonight. Are, are you Mr. Miller? Keep out of this, young man. I, I'm looking for an actress. You're expecting me. He's right, Uncle. Not now, Susan. Uh, if you'll excuse hey, me. You're looking for me. I'm him. I don't care who you are. I ain't expecting anybody except somebody who certainly isn't you. So please, don't bother me. Look, you came by the back of the stage. What, wasn't she a passenger? Who? 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 The lady we're talking about, Francis Fryer. But that's who it is, Uncle. Why aren't you listening, Millie? Won't pay attention. You're her? <laughs> no, I'm not her. I'm look, Francis Fryer. You see, she she must be here. I'm gonna search this. Hey, wait! So it's not a her. Name's Francis with an eye. The Francis I want's got two eyes. Uh, I hope, and I've got to find her. Haven't you got it yet, Millie? He's your actress. Lovely, Francis Fryer. Your Francis? He, he's no lady. Uh, that's what I keep telling you. There's been some mistake. He's no dame, but he is lovely. Smile, Francis, show him your dimples. <laughs> You deceive me. You're fired. No, you're not fired. I've got a show tonight, haven't I? I've got to have somebody. Go to your room. What room, Susan? Do we have a room? I'll see you, Uncle. Mr. Miller, I'm sorry about the mistake. Maybe I'm not the person you want. But I am a good son, a dance man, and if you've got a show tonight, I'd like to help you out. That's if you'll give me the chance. Come on, Millie. You can at least give him the chance. Let him show you what he can do. Yeah, let me show you. What's the use? I advertised an actress. You can at least let me show you. Oh, everyone complains about the weather. But nobody ever does anything about it. Why don't they realize a very simple thing? You gotta have a winter if you want to have a spring. My friends, it all depends on 
more than nature. The laws of compensation still apply. The weather may be frightful to most everyone, but shucks, it could be more delightful from the point of view of ducks. So if you still complain about the weather, then why the devil don't you do something about it? Oh, everyone complains about the weather. Why don't they realize a very simple thing? You gotta have a winter if you want to have a spring. My friends, it all depends on Mother Nature. The laws of compensation still apply. Quit beefing about the showers on a cloudy April day. And think of the fields of flowers you'll be tripping through in May. So if you still complain about the weather, don't you do something then why the devil don't you do something then why the devil don't you do something about